Fire Emblem Gaiden. Okay, so we just recruited Jesse. He's level six. Uh, he's a mercenary. Hey, he actually tells us his class, unlike most of the other characters for some reason. I'm actually currently recording this on a brand new computer. Which is why it's a different microphone sound, probably. And I know it's not great. I'm gonna try to get a new one at some point. But anyway, let's continue on. And, uh... Looks like the horse units are moving in on Alm's army over here. So I've actually had a lot of issues recording on this new computer. Because first off, my editing software was having issues where... For whatever reason, none of the stuff was there and I had to re-download it. Which, thank you to the company who allowed me to do that. But also... Then... My emulator started having issues where it wasn't recording the sound after it updated, so I had to re-download an older version after trying a bunch of other options for the new one. And so here we are now. Have I at all mentioned yet that Luthier has Excalibur? Which is just a stronger spell. It doesn't have any extra range or anything. I think it's just like a stronger spell that uses more HP. Okay, let's see how this enemy turn goes. There are a lot more enemies here than when we did the... the original version of this chapter where there's just, what, three enemies or something? So you definitely have to be a bit more careful. Hopefully all of them will just go for Alm, because as you can see, he can handle it. That made no sense, Alm. You had way worse accuracy than him, and yet you landed twice and he missed. But you know what? I won't question it at all. Uh... Oh, that was awful. Oh, that's not good at all. That's damage to him, and he didn't do any back. These guys are going for Grey. Grey is in the forest and has the lance to kill these guys, so I'm actually kind of okay with this. But they landed. Come on now. And we missed? What? Okay, at least he missed that one. Come on, Grey. You need to land the attacks on these guys going for you. Which I presume at least a few will. I was going for Claire. She's in the forest and at full health. I'm okay with this. She'll attack twice. Okay, we missed. Somehow. Look at that accuracy. Okay, this one's also going for Grey. I think if Grey hits this guy, he'll die. Ooh, nice dodge, nice dodge. Okay, that's what we want. Oh, it wasn't enough. And these guys attack twice for some reason, even though they're the same kind of... I mean, I mean maybe they're higher level or have better stats or something? How? Why is our accuracy so sh good? I'm pretty sure she's in a forest. Maybe she's not, and I just misremembered, but I'm pretty sure she is. Oh, and of course the one enemy you left is an archer. Come on, Claire, can you please dodge this? Yes, okay. So, now Claire needs healing, kinda, so does Luthier, although no one attacks him this turn for some reason. Oh, and Tobin could also use him healing. And, and Grey. Not Alm, though. He's doing great. <laughs> okay, I have to plan this out very carefully. How much HP do these guys have? That one has 26, that one has 4. I'm pretty sure Python does 4 damage exactly. So let's have him finish off the guy up there, since he can reach him. Okay. That's the first step. Good job, Python. Now the next step... That one there, that one horse unit over here, this one... has 26. How much do these ones have? 23, 19, and 18. So that one has the most HP of any of these horse units. So that one definitely has to be dealt with with Grey. The only thing is, because, you know, Grey is the, one, the Night Lance. The only thing is, I don't want Grey... attacking him immediately, otherwise he'll probably take two hits, which will reduce him to one HP. I could heal Claire, because the thing is, she's not going to be able to escape most of the enemy units this turn. She's also not going to be able to handle most of their attacks. I could heal her with Silk, and then make her run away. The only issue then is Silk would be right there next to the forest. So we would have to put someone in there so that the enemies don't occupy it. I think that's the plan. We're going to put Silk here. We're going to use some white magic. Heal up Claire, because she desperately needs it. Okay. Now, Claire's gonna run as far away as she can, into a forest, too. Could put her here. Let's put Claire here, because this is assuming we're definitely gonna do all our best to take out this one here with the 26 health. Now, someone needs to occupy that forest, and we probably need to surround Silk. That archer unit, this one here, is also in a forest right now. So he will be difficult to hit, so I don't think the person who should go here next to Silk should be a range unit attacking this person, because that would just be a waste. Forsyth could go here, but I don't think he could do much against these guys. I mean, we might as well try, I guess. Okay, does four damage. Not a lot, especially considering they attack him twice. But he is in the four, so he's gonna dodge that hit. Not that one, okay. He takes four damage back, so if he takes eight damage each time, 
assuming that those two horsemen both attack him, that would not be enough to kill him, so he should be fine. What I'm highly debating is putting Alm underneath Silk here, protecting her from that attack, and also attacking this archer unit here at the same time. Although he is in the forest, I suppose, so this probably won't land. Okay, y you gotta land. You can get both of them, though, all. That would be very good if you could. He did! Nice! Okay, once again, all proves he is by far the best unit in our group. Alright, now let's deal with this guy up north. And like I said, I don't want Gray to attack him first, because with Gray he could attack back. So we're gonna have Tobin go for him. But this definitely means we need to take him out this turn. Because if we don't, I mean, then Tobin is a target. He has so little health and he's not in forest. 16 health, that's still not enough. But luckily, Lucas is here to do some extra damage, so do what you can, Lucas. Now, how much can you do, Lucas? That is the question. Three damage, that's just enough. You're gonna take some damage here, which is a bit unfortunate. Four damage, probably twice. Same as Foresight, okay. That's fine, I don't think there's any other units up here. Uh, Lucas is close to a level up. Great, you have the Night Lance, go ahead and finish him off. Great accuracy. You're good to go, man. Perfect. Okay, so... The only enemies left are the mage unit and these two horses. I am realizing there is an open spot next to Silk here that is also a forest, meaning that is going to be very preferable for one of these horse units to go to, which they definitely can reach. So that's definitely going to be the moves of one of them, but that's the thing. Only one of them go for Silk if... Only one of them goes for Silk. That means they aren't double teaming anybody else, and we should be fine. Yep, I knew it. I called it. I called it. I called it. Alright. You can live the hit. You have the leather shield, and you could possibly drain health. Nope, no drain. That's okay. Okay, how much HP is that left? Hold on, let me squint. Oh, well, I covered it up. I think it was like six or seven. Who is that one going for? Claire? Yeah, okay. We healed her, so she'll be fine. Hopefully. And she attacks twice, because she's a Pegasus Knight. Plus we're doing damage back. Now the only one left is the Mage Unit. What is he going to do? He did nothing. Okay, I guess he's so low on health that he didn't want to do anything in the first place. Cool! Uh, in that case... 19 health, and uh... 8 health. Yeah, we're gonna get these guys, definitely. Claire finishes that one off, very nice. So... okay, nowhere near leveling up, that's okay. This unit here is 19 health. Alm, what do you have to say about that, pal? That puts him at 6 health. 6 health, that's enough for Cliff to finish off, assuming he lands. Because he does 8 damage per these guys, I'm pretty sure. Although, accuracy isn't great. Yep, okay, we're gonna need to bring someone else in. Tobin, why don't you give it a shot? Your accuracy is pretty good considering he's in a forest, that's surprising. Good job, okay, that guy's dealt with. 23 XP, Tobin almost leveled up. Now, all that's left is this one here with 13 health. Uh, Luthier? Do what you can, man. Excalibur. Let's see how it goes. Accuracy's perfect. Almost. Ooh, a crit for absolutely no reason. Probably. Maybe it was needed. I don't know. Uh, 20 XP to Luthier. And that is the end of that. So if you're Roselico, we have two pathways here. This is something I've been trying to explain for a little while, but at the end of both of these pathways we have Dean up north, and we have Sonya down south. Currently, we have a lot more mercenaries than we do magic units, so I'm gonna go for Sonya. But, here's what I need to explain. The unit you attack is not the unit you will get. So we are going to attack Dean, and that way, Sonya we can recruit later on. Plus, why would you do both paths to begin with? So, Celica, go ahead and head after this guy. All mercenaries. Just all mercenaries, as you can see. Except the one hero right here, which is Dean himself. Or Swordmaster, sorry, not hero. Let's create some illusions with the Jenny, so that we have them on the field at the very least. Wow. Uh, I didn't realize it made another one even if it wasn't adjacent to Jenny, I thought it could only make maximum of the ones around her. So if we covered her up like, oh, then you can't get that one. But it just goes somewhere else, I guess. I mean, I'll take it. Katria, go ahead and go right here. Paula, we're gonna have you and Katria go after the healing pad up there. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And let's see what the enemies... 
What the? Why did it go to the title screen? I didn't... I didn't push any buttons. What? Uh... What just happened? When was the last time I saved? Oh my god, I'm back to here. This is okay, I create save states after I finish each recording session. That just means I'm gonna have to redo this episode. Which I feel like I'm saying that a lot recently. But man, that's weird. I just suddenly was booted back to the title screen. I don't get that. I'll get back to where I was off screen, but I won't go after Dean just yet. I want to see if maybe that thing is glitched or something. I really don't know what happened. I'll see you guys then.